Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show easy ways to solve your iPhone's iOS 17 update pause problem. Problem installing latest iOS update wirelessly. Update might pause. Check these fixes to resume the download and installation. Check that your supported iPhone has the correct settings. First, make sure that your iPhone is not connected to a VPN network. A VPN or proxy connection can pause your iOS update. To turn off or disconnect the VPN, you need to launch the VPN app on your iPhone. Then, tap on the disconnect button. Now, go back to the settings app and tap on VPN. Turn off the toggle beside the VPN status if it is on. That's it. Now, check for the software update. Launch the settings app, then scroll down and tap on general. Tap on software update. Wait until your device checks for an update. During this time, plug your iPhone into the direct wall plug until it finishes the updating process. Now let's look at the solutions to fix the iOS update pause problem. If the problem remains, follow the first helpful solution, force restart your iPhone. For the force restart process, we will use volume control buttons and power buttons to force restart the iPhone. Press and release the volume up button. Then press and release the volume down button. Now only press and hold the power button on the right side. So hold the power button until you see the Apple logo after the black screen on your iPhone screen. Your iPhone will automatically turn on and ask for your lock screen passcode. That's it. If the problem persists, follow the second beneficial solution. Connect to a stable Wi-Fi or use mobile data. Connect to the fast Wi-Fi network and test if you can visit the Apple website quietly. If not, then you can turn on the mobile data. Then, return to the download update page and tap the download and install option. If you can't download the update and it pauses, follow the third frequently used solution. Reset the network setting. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then, scroll down and tap on general. Scroll down the general setting page to the bottom and find the transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on it. Tap on reset and then select reset network setting. Then, enter your device passcode if you see the enter passcode screen. Select Reset Network Setting to confirm. The fourth conducible solution is free up space on your iPhone. Make sure your iPhone has enough space to download the iOS update. For a minor update, you need to have 2 GB or more space. For a more significant update, you need to have 6 GB or more storage space on your iPhone. For that, launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Then tap on the General. Now tap on iPhone Storage option. Wait for a few seconds and see the possible options to clear free space from recommendations or manually delete unwanted data. Also, it would be best if you first quit all apps and try again for the software update. The fifth efficient solution is to remove software or incomplete updates. If you have previously downloaded the software or have an incomplete update, remove it from your iPhone storage. To do that, launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap on general. Tap on iPhone storage and select software update. Select the delete update option. Once you remove the update file, go back to the settings app and tap on general option. Tap on software update to download new latest version of software to your device. That's it. If still the issue is not fixed, the sixth advantageous solution is to disable content and privacy restrictions. Many of us turn on the content and privacy restrictions to block ourselves and others from installing and deleting apps. To remove the restrictions, launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap on screen time. Now scroll down and tap content and privacy restrictions under the restrictions section. Here, turn off the toggle beside content and privacy restrictions at the top of the page. You can also allow access to particular categories. For instance, tap on iTunes and App Store purchases to customize access rules for installing or deleting apps. The seventh favorable solution is to check Apple's system status page. Launch the browser app on your iPhone and visit the Apple system status page. The website link is given in the video description. Check for the green circle for update-related services such as the App Store, Screen Time, etc. The last solution is to update using a Mac or PC. You need to use iTunes on an old Mac or Windows PC. For macOS Catalina and later, you should use the Finder app. Let's see how to update your iPhone using a Mac computer. 
Ensure your iPhone and Mac devices are connected to the Wi-Fi network. Then, connect your iPhone to your Mac computer using a USB-C to C cable. Now launch the Finder app on your Mac device. Then, select your iPhone name from the left side panel. In case you see a pop-up message on your iPhone or Mac screen, select Allow on Mac and select the Trust option on iPhone to continue. On Mac, click on the General tab from the Summary tab. You can see the current iOS version of your iPhone. Click on the Check for Update or Update button. You will see a pop-up on your Mac screen. Select the Don't Backup option. Click the Update button. Now follow the on-screen instructions. You will see a window showing what are the latest updates, enhancements, and bug fixes. Click on the Next button. Then click on the Agree button. Enter your device passcode on your iPhone if required. After that, click on the Continue button on your Mac device. The iOS update downloading process will begin. Please do not disconnect your iPhone during the updating process. This process may take considerable time to download and install the iOS update. Now the downloaded software is extracted by the MacBook. Once the extraction process is completed, your MacBook backs up your iPhone locally. For now, I will select the Don't Encrypt option. However, it is always recommended to use the Encrypted Backup option. Now you will see the Apple logo on your iPhone. Soon after, you will see the Apple logo with a processing bar on your iPhone. Now the software update on your iPhone is downloaded successfully. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.